So we're told that the summation from k equals 1 to infinity of a of k converges to 7. And the summation from k equals 1 to infinity of b of k converges to negative 2. So now we're asked, what can we conclude about the summation of 2 times a k minus 3 times b k? Right. So let's, let's look at this in a more uh, applicable, I don't know, they, something that will look more like these two things. So why don't we just separate them out? So we have, write them in two summations, k equals 1 to infinity of 2ak minus the summation of k equals 1 to infinity times 3bk. That's not really k. Okay. okay, so now if we pull out these constants here, because no matter what, you're just, you can pull them out. Because if you were to go through and go to a1 plus 2a2 plus 2a3, dot, 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 that would be the same as 2 times a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus dot, dot, dot. Okay. So I can pull out these constants here. So we have 2 times the series from k equals 1 to infinity of a sub k minus 3 of the series of k equals 1 to infinity of b sub k. All right, so we can use substitution and say that since this series converges to 7, it's basically the same as saying 2 times 7, okay? And then here we have minus 3, and since this series converges to negative 2, we have negative 3 times negative 2, we have 14 plus 6, which equals 20. So what that means is that this converges to 20.